Hey guys, my orchard videos. So anyways, uh, I got some paperwork here. I'm bringing a, I'm buying the uh, Chinese mini excavator. It's called the High Top 10 mini excavator. I'm getting a bunch of options with it. And after taxes and shipping and all stuff, stuff like that, it's gonna cost me $14,000. So $14,000 is a lot better than paying $47,000. <laughs> for a new machine of any brand really so and uh, yeah so um, now there's a lot of paperwork you have to go through you have to basically you have to find yourself a customs broker and I'm not going to show you much uh, uh, like I'm not going to give you any, any names and stuff like that but you can see here this is the name of the company and I uh, you basically have to just find uh, go through online and just search for customs broker and you find the port that you want to go pick up because you find the port where the shipments come into your country i know here here we got multiple ports but the closest one to me is called the port of vancouver bc and the other one's on, on in montreal so um back east so so um and you'll have to find that if you're in the united states somewhere you have to find where the port of entry is for shipments so you have to find a broker and you go through all the rigmarole, do all the paperwork um, and you get to talk to them about all sorts of stuff, uh, general information and um, uh, need to also the EPA. So I want to tell you guys something, if you're importing a machine like this into your country you're better off getting the gasoline engine than the diesel because diesel has a lot more paperwork and gasoline is virtually no paperwork just a few little just want to know about what kind of engine it is and such and these little things come with a 15 horse Briggs and Stratton engine in. 15 horse Briggs and Stratton engine and just, just virtually no paperwork for that but if it's diesel different story so it just makes it more of a hassle but uh, yeah here so here's the Another form I do. I wait for information. As uh, I'm getting uh, this company to take care of the shipping uh, for me too. Well, I mean they're arranging a shipper because basically, uh, like once because once they get their once they, these guys get their fees, then when it comes into Canada, uh, then they'll then they release the customs and then uh, then of course they're going to arrange a shipper for me to bring it ship it from Vancouver down to my like uh, to my place up here in the mountains. So, um, or they call it the, uh, the uh, cherry belt of, uh, uh, of Canada. But anyways, um, anyways, that, um, it's easier for me to pay someone to ship it for me, uh, come to ship it for me than, than for me to go down the coast because I hate driving in the city. So, but yeah, so if you want to know about any kind of paperwork you need for, uh, shipping into Canada if you're if you're someone who's watching my video from Canada or from the States I can tell you the the process um, just paperwork and just talking to the right people and such and it's a bit of um it's a bit of a long process but um, you know it's just another leap I guess to take to get a good deal on stuff and there's lots of good deals to be had in China of course I know you guys say uh, Chinesium stuff and I know I know it's Chinesium but um, I'm getting a bunch of attachments with my excavator and by the time a guy for by the time a guy prices out all the attachments at your local dealership you are going to be paying big dollars and I already did this already and after all attachments I figured it out because I got priced out because I was looking at Kubota I actually was really gung-ho with the Kubota but the payments are too expensive after the attachments so after all attachments I wanted, it basically adds about another ten thousand dollars. I know it adds on about uh, twenty-five grand of stuff, uh, extra attachments I wanted for my for the mini excavator. And this way, I'm getting from China, it comes right from the factory, and it's, it's just it's a, it's just incredible to know how much jump there is in price. So, anyways, it's interesting. Better to go factory direct and get what you want than buy. From a dealer because dealerships to buy stuff and uh, they mark it up uh, you know ten thousand percent so 
and down here I showed you guys uh, uh, some a dealer that's down here for me in Surrey BC and they sell these Chinese machines and just the machine alone is the price of what I'm paying for the whole damn machine uh, in general taxes and stuff included so and then you got with attachments then it's it's more so I suspect what these guys are doing in this place is looking at they're buying the machines with all attachments and then selling their attachments separately you know that's it's business right you make your money so but anyways so anyways you guys know I'm, I'm getting the stuff here done and uh, get ready to do that so once I'm once I get information to fill this form out then I'm sending my 30% to this guy this company in China and then the process starts and once the machine lands in uh, I kind of got information wrong in the last video but once the machine lands in uh, uh, the port of Vancouver here and I talk to these guys here the brokerage and I uh, uh, well I, I forgot about yet, but I think I once it once it lands in in, the, in the, my province here then I'll have to send the rest of the money to China which is the other uh, 70% of the cost, which is about this works out to about something like uh, 5500 bucks US. So it is what it is, it's all US funds. So, of course, everything in Canada is more expensive, but, anyways, yeah. So, anyways, if you want to know, know more information about uh, bringing stuff into into your province, I mean, into, into your country, just let me in the comments below. Just give me something in the comments below in the video here, and I can tell you exactly what you want to know uh, some guys have talked about it but they have not uh, some guys I know some guys have talked about oh yeah we'll help you out and try to figure things out but um, I'll actually I will help you if you actually if you're in Canada or US I'll take you through the steps of uh, going through this and there's lots of fees and such to do this and uh, yeah so uh, we can talk back and forth uh, we can maybe exchange a, uh, a Facebook account uh, name and we can go back and forth on Facebook and uh, do a video call or something and we can talk about uh, how to do this process if you're if anybody's interested who's watching my video so anyways thanks for watching guys and when I get more details I will definitely uh, post up on the next video all right thanks for watching Remember, find yourself a customs broker for importing stuff into your country, U.S. or Canada. Bye for now.